We're launching from the end of Port Nepean, Victoria, Australia, in pursuit of the cargo ship named Wide Charlie. The entrance here to Port Phillip Bay was the most heavily fortified area in the Southern Hemisphere back in the 19th and 20th centuries. Pam and I travelled 4K to get here on foot. No cars or bikes allowed. But it was well worth it. We were very surprised. After our little barbecue, a couple of glasses of wine, to see this ship. As it passed through the heads, I quickly manoeuvred to the front of the ship. And there we are, you can see the uh, screenshot there, you'll see the, uh, the distance. The final distance was nearly 3K. You can see here, I was actually at a headwind following the ship and the speed was something around about 35 kilometres an hour and that was a, about a 15 kilometre headwind. Here we are just travelling over the top. Again, we're just here on the uh, port side. Just coming down on the port side here. Beautiful view of the uh, container ship. Uh, there was a few people there just moving around on the deck. I tried not to get too close. Um, well, we all know these ships are uh, subject to piracy and that they do carry weapons on board. So, well, let's put it this way. I didn't want any sort of incidents. Beautiful ship, beautiful day. Temperature was about 31 degrees. Uh, the wind speed at the moment, the ship was heading into the wind and the wind speed was 15 kilometers an hour. We found it to be quite pleasant, a very pleasant day. Here we are, I'm just going over the top now, just having a look over there. Uh, there's quite a few containers here. Beautiful view, absolutely beautiful. I had the, uh, oh look at that. Yeah, that's just wonderful. Now as we head back now, uh, you can see the end of Point and the P in there, right in the distance, and we're right on the end there. Uh, we're travelling back now. I've just speeded up a little bit just to sort of um, take away. And by the way, uh, at this point, uh, just where we're flying over, there was a scuba diver lost, a 60-year-old scuba diver. And there were helicopters and boats in the area looking for him. Now, unfortunately, he was washed up two days later. So it was very unfortunate. Uh, we did see the helicopters out there looking for him. We were at error. I didn't see anything in the water. But yes, he was found two days later. And there you go. You'll notice the battery level. So I sort of made it back. Uh, I wouldn't say only just, but now here we are. You can just see the, you just saw it then, but here's a close up of the uh, powerhouse where all the electricity was generated for the barracks and associated army paraphernalia on the uh, peninsula there, the very end of the peninsula. That was the powerhouse. They call it the powerhouse. Coming down because of the wind and there was nowhere level to land, I catch landed it. Well, good day there, guys. Tony here from Ferntree Gully. Well, I hope you like that. That was Point Nepean on the Mornington Peninsula here in Victoria, Australia. And if you don't know where Australia is, well, we're the biggest island on the planet. Just look for that. All right, I hope you like that. A uh, little bit of commentary there. And yeah, we'll catch you later. Give us a like. See ya.